The symptoms of aortic stenosis are classically the patient has shortness of breath, but in addition to that, they can also develop chest pain. And those are concerning symptoms once a patient has severe aortic stenosis. The third symptom patients can develop is that they can actually pass out or feel lightheaded like they're going to pass out. All of those are concerning symptoms to us because once a patient begins to develop those types of symptoms, it could be, in many circumstances, the fact that they're getting worse more quickly and they certainly require evaluation by their cardiologist about the possibility of needing an aortic valve replacement. In patients who develop aortic stenosis, the valve can become calcified, rigid, and hard. There are patients who are actually born with only two leaflets called a bicuspid aortic valve, and that's a congenital lesion. Typically, those valves actually work fairly well to normal throughout most of the early and middle part of adulthood life, but later on, because of the abnormality of the valve, the valve becomes rigid, thickened, and becomes calcified, and that's when we have to intervene. Patients who develop aortic regurgitation have a whole host of things that could be causing the aortic regurgitation, which includes things like connective tissue disorders, a malformed valve from the beginning, a bicuspid valve can occasionally be regurgitant. You can have both aortic stenosis and regurgitation together.